picked up and I bought me one of these low cost Tytera DMR radios. And you know, I don't know a whole lot about DMR radios, so I wanted to get involved in this segment of the amateur radio uh, hobby, and so I've become more familiar, familiar with uh, digital mobile radio, DMR. Uh, you can just Google that, and you'll get all kind of hits. Anyway, this is probably one of the lowest cost uh, handy talkies that you can buy for DMR. And seems to be built very well. I'm not gonna. I was thinking about doing a, you know, a open box where we open the box and look at all the parts. But there's already a bunch of those on YouTube, so I didn't want to do another one. It is. Uh, I wanted just to make comments about the radio. It is. It does feel like it's well built. You know, it's made out of that rubberized uh, type plastic, you know, but uh, feels like it's built well. Comes with two antennas, a little short one and then this longer one, uh, just for convenience if uh, this kind of gets in the way, if you're going to clip it to your belt or do something like that and you're not going to be talking very far to a repeater, then you could use the short one that comes with it. But uh, Anyway, here's the long one, and it does come with a belt clip. This is kind of tricky to get on. I gotta say, it took me five minutes of fiddling to get these screws to line up because you gotta compress the spring at the same time that you're trying to put the screws in. Kind of fiddly, but I did get it on, and it does seem to be on very well but it's kind of a fiddly operation to put this on there. Um, it does come with a battery charger. Uh, reports I've heard say the charger takes a long time, several hours, to recharge the battery. That's not a problem for me, uh, that it takes several hours. Uh, so. Really, I didn't really even consider that when I bought it, that the charger would take a little bit longer to charge. Uh, it does uh, show red when it's charging and green, of course, when it's finished charging. Now, not knowing a whole lot about DMR, <clears throat> did a little reading, and I, what you have to put in these radios is what's called a code plug. They don't call it programming it. They call it a code plug. And it just simply is a file that tells the, tells the radio what repeaters, what talk groups. That's another new term. Uh, you can listen to and transmit to uh, what zones, what groups. And uh, to write a big cloak code plug takes considerable time. So luckily uh, other hams have already done this and posted them up on the internet. So I found one and from the description of it, it was for the Dallas uh, repeaters and it had already had talk groups on it, the Dallas repeaters, um, Various zones, you know, worldwide zone, a state, statewide, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I simply loaded that in. There was no problem loading it in. Uh, just downloaded the software off the TYT uh, website. And that's short for Titera. T Y T E R A, Tytera. You can Google that. Google Tytera 380, 380. You'll get this radio. Or you can Google T Y T 380, and you'll get this radio. So, uh, come up in the uh, Google listing. <laughs> anyway, not really expensive. 
I have tested it one time. Of course, it's a handy talkie, and as some of you know, I'm a considerable distance from Dallas. So there's really no way I can hit the repeaters in Dallas with this little 5 watt uh, handy talkie or 4 watt, whatever the specs say. Uh, but I did carry it in to Dallas with me the last time I went there and basically got out of the car and uh, put it on statewide, keyed up and got several uh, responses uh, from some hams that I already knew and uh, so it seems to be working just fine. They said I sounded good and I was coming through just fine, no problem. And of course I was using the uh, what is it, DRC Mark, something like that, DRC Mark uh, Network, I may have that wrong, it may be DMC, I'm not sure, and if I looked it up on my computer right now I could tell you, but anyway there's various networks you can program this to talk to, and I've got basically the popular one in the I think, in the USA right now. That network programmed in here. So if you've been interested in getting into this a little bit, DMR type radios, digital radios, I, I can go ahead and recommend this to you for your first radio. And you won't spend a lot of money. It doesn't have some of the features of the more expensive Motorola ones, for instance. But uh, all in all, for a little low-cost handy talkie that you can experiment with DMR, the TYT380 will serve you very well in learning about DMR. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Everybody be good. Have a great day. 73, clear socks, clear skies. And remember, keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later. Be good.